Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy. That's right, namaste and all that gear. Uh, with me, your host, yeah. <laughs> hope you lot are all doing well today, man. I really do hope that. Staying safe in lockdown, hopefully going out intermittently, getting some sun via socially distanced methods. Anyway, welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily show here on Football Therapy, where I crawl across uh, football headlines looking for Chelsea-related stuff. I consolidate it, present it to you, give my opinion, and then we discuss it down in the comment section below. Today, there are two stories I want to talk about. The big one that seems to be all over the rags is, yes, once again, Philippe Coutinho, who apparently prefers a move to Chelsea over other Premier League options. Now, let's think about it. Really, if he wants a good club, it's going to be a Premier League option. It's not going to be Germany after leaving Bayern, and it's probably not going to be Spain either. Who knows? Juventus? PSG? He probably wants that Premier League move, still being in his prime and all that. Chelsea, could we be an option? Well, we've spoken about it before, but I'm going to give you an updated lowdown. And also, new father Antonio Rudiger, the big German Daddy Rudy, as I like to call him now. Uh, he's talked about how he would not rule out a move to the Bundesliga. And I kind of get it. You know, he's sort of 27 years old now. Maybe sees, maybe he could be a player at Bayern Munich, get a move to the big club in Germany, be a centre-half of the big dogs and win some guaranteed silverware. Maybe. And if Chelsea are to replace a centre-half to bring in a new senior figure, why not replace the current senior figure, who probably isn't the most senior figury kind of player. That's not English. You catch what I'm saying. So if you enjoy daily content regarding Chelsea Football Club, I'd urge you, the viewer, to subscribe to this channel. If you've not yet done so, please do hit that bell notifications icon if you decide to subscribe. And why not like the video to help a brother out? All right, let's get into it. Let's start with Big Daddy Rudy. First off, congratulations, Tony, becoming a father. I'm not a father, but I'm sure it's a wonderful thing. So hopefully that brings a bit of joy into his life in what is a difficult time in lockdown. Um, yeah, superb news, congratulations. Right, Tony Rudiger, widely regarded as Chelsea's best centre-back, probably because he's the most senior. 27 years old, has been pretty good for Chelsea, obviously scoring double headers against Leicester, I think it was, but generally being a relatively commanding and good centre-half. Is he the most favourite centre-half at Chelsea? Well, I'm not so sure because that is a really difficult question. Everyone makes a very strong case for all four centre-halves at the bridge. Andreas Christensen, probably been in the greatest form out of all of them of late. It's really good footballing centre-half. Fikayo Tomori, the golden boy, Derby's player of the season last season. Young central defender, favourite of Morrison Lampard. Looks like he could be great, also can score super rockets as well, apparently. Kurt Zuma, the player who Frank Lampard really, really fought for to make sure he doesn't get a permanent transfer to Everton, who wanted him. He basically said, look, come to Chelsea, you're mine, you'll play. Again, in his prime, probably had, well, he had the most Premier League experience out of the lot, seeing as he's been playing in the Premier League for years now and used to play next to John Terry. Some Chelsea fans say Kurt Zuma is the best and a half at Chelsea. And of course, Antonio Rudiger, the big Germanic centre half in question. Chelsea's latest purchase when it comes to central defenders in his prime, like I said, at 27 years old. And generally he's played quite well for the Blues. Now, so he's come out and said he wouldn't rule out a move to Germany. Now, I've said at the top of the video, this might make sense for the player. Give him an opportunity to go back to his homeland, play out the autumn years of his prime, maybe have some guaranteed trophies, because he can probably play at the highest level in the Bundesliga. So where does that leave Chelsea? Well, you might be of that school of thought that you'd be happy to sell Rudiger anyway, but if Chelsea are looking to bring in a commanding senior centre-back to sort out the youngsters, you'd probably keep the youngsters and replace Rudiger, maybe? Plus also, Rudiger might bring in a decent amount of money. You think Chelsea could make a profit on him because he's come to Chelsea and generally been successful winning a couple of trophies, etc. But if you did place Tony Rudiger, you'd, like I said, you'd probably have to get a commanding centre-half in, someone a bit senior. That will be an upgrade on Rudiger in terms of performances and also in terms of his ability to rally the back line, to settle, etc. People are talking about top, top tier centre-halves. One of the two best centre-halves in the world, of course, is Koulibaly. Chelsea have been looking at Koulibaly for a few years now. He's going to be worth a lot of money. Granted, in this financial climate, this transfer window, 
prices should come down. Will Napoli sell him? He's got three years left on this deal. He's about to turn 29, I think. If Chelsea are convinced he can play at the highest level in the Premier League with no trouble and there'd be minimal risk, which I can't seem to accept there'd be minimal risk bringing in a player of his age who's never played in England before. But if they think you could bring him in, play at the highest level for, say, four years, then maybe a massive transfer fee would be worth it. Who knows? But for me, there'd be a bit of a risk. So I'm going to keep an eye on this centre-half story. Chelsea have obviously been looking at a few. But I wanted to pose the question to you guys. Would you sell Rudy? Does that make the most sense? Is it only really worth bringing in like a cooler Bali type figure? Or should Chelsea keep looking at young centre-backs? You decide. Right, let's talk about Philippe Coutinho of Barcelona. Recently finishing a loan at Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich have talked about how they have gone past the day or they're no longer able to exercise the um, clause or part of the contract where they can buy Philippe Coutinho and to be honest they didn't want to. Now I've done videos on Coutinho before, I've done a pretty extensive video talking about his time in the Premier League with Liverpool and you know what man, Philippe Coutinho posts, or posted incredible numbers in the Premier League, like incredible. And this isn't that long ago, dude. This is like two, three years ago. He's still in his prime, mid, late 20s, and he can still perform, but do Chelsea want him? Well, apparently he wants Chelsea. There's news articles referencing his preference. Why do I always say weird rhymes, man? Referencing how he would prefer to come to Chelsea over other Premier League options. Nice to hear, doesn't mean anything really, I'm not so sure. It's the age old question, do Chelsea need this player? Is it a problem position? Well, it's a problem position if you listen to Frank Lampard talking about how Chelsea have missed that final third quality to sort of take a man on, dribble between the lines. Sure, we've got Pulisic, he can do that, but he's excellent at running in behind as well. A bit more of an all-rounded player, in my opinion. Ziyech is going to be a little bit more of a creator. Of course, Coutinho is a creator as well, but Lampard was often speaking throughout this season about Chelsea lacking that star man, that star quality, the Eden Hazard vibes. Philippe Coutinho has proved in the Premier League he can perform said numbers and he was incredible. He was Liverpool's best player before they sold him to Barcelona. Think about that, the champ current champions of Europe. Sure, he's had a difficult time since leaving the Premier League in many ways, but does that mean that, you know, this 27-year-old is washed up? Probably not. Now, this is not a propaganda video of Yannick saying Chelsea should buy Philippe Coutinho. To be honest, man, I don't really care about him. And to, you know, if you said to me, Yannick, you have to buy some sort of auxiliary forward, uh, versatile forward number 10 slash false nine something, who would you want? I'd probably say Kai Havertz, the young 20-year-old German who's been on fire for the last, like, 18 months. Really solid sound investment, obviously a few years younger than Coutinho, and I just like the look of him. But if Frank Lampard, Chelsea Football Club, and all the negotiators, Marina Granov, Sky and Co, are doing all sorts of work behind the scenes, they want to be competitive next season, and they see an option in Coutinho that they feel like they should take up, then who knows, maybe I, like maybe many of you as well, will get hyped and amped when you see Philippe Coutinho holding up a Chelsea shirt. Apparently, the news are saying there's negotiations between Chelsea and Barcelona regarding the transfer. And although this news story, this gossip, seemed quite fanciful for a long time, it's a story that hasn't seemed to go away. Now, if that, that could be his camp, his agents putting stories out there to try and unsettle Chelsea into making an approach, if that's even possible. But the fact remains, the story won't go away, so we have to maybe consider it, or at least for the sake of this channel series, Chelsea News, because that's what we're doing here, right? So we'll have to see what happens. Maybe if, you know, the both wingers go, Ziyech comes in, Coutinho comes in as well, because it does look like Chelsea are not going to exercise the option to buy Jeremy Boga. Of course, Philippe Coutinho can play wide, and if Chelsea are going to be playing between the lines a little bit inverted, maybe the likes of Philippe Coutinho playing wide like Mason Mount did, that could work, a sort of inside left winger. It could happen. So certain games you could have Philippe Coutinho and Hakim Ziyech flanking a Chelsea striker. It could work. I mean, it does scream quality regardless and scenes when he inevitably scores against Liverpool. Anyway, what do you guys think? I want your thoughts and opinions on the two players I've spoken about in today's video. 
Antonio Rudiger, would you be okay to see him go? Who, who would be the centre half that you would ship out to receive one to come in and hopefully raise the levels of the other centre backs? Let me know in the comment section below. And also, Philippe Coutinho, we've spoken about him on the channel before, but has your opinion changed? A lot's have happened in the last couple of months in terms of what's going on with football, the transfer market, options maybe becoming more difficult. Let me know, would you take Philippe Coutinho? How much would you pay for him? Do you think he could still perform in the Premier League? Get down in the comment section below and express yourself on the Brazilian. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the content I have provided for you guys today, it would mean a lot if you like this video. And of course, subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Uh, the channel's moving along nicely. I really appreciate all your support and nice messages, which I've been getting on, you know, down in the comment section on social media. By the way, come follow me on Instagram at Football Yannick. I do appreciate all your kind support. Um, that's it for today, guys. So you lot enjoy the football that's uh, happening in Germany at the moment. I watched the Berlin derby last night. That was exciting. Uh, all right, I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.